Oh, I was just blown away by it. I just really was taken for the ride. I, I, I was able to kind of remove myself from it and be swept away. And I, I just, I got really, really kind of, I mean, I got emotional, but I also really just felt happy to be a part of it. I felt really proud. I, there's a lot of parts of this in me. I, I love my wife the way Oscar's character loves Olivia in this wow. film. Wow, um, saying a lot. I I, uh, I write him a little bit more romantic <laughs> and, and better than I am <laughs> than I'm looking. Um, uh, and you know, I this I lost my uh, my mother ten years ago. And I, it was a I, I've been saying a body blow that kind of took my legs out for, uh, yeah. for a year. And a year to the day after she died, I met my wife. And so a lot of what the themes of the film are, a lot of the issues it explores, a lot of the characters are kind of born out of feelings that I have yeah. and things I had inside of me that I wanted to expunge. And I think there's a lot of people who've been through really difficult things, whether in childhood or later, and they don't know if they deserve happiness. They don't know if it's there for them. They assume they've just been dealt a really hard hand in life, and yet there can be true bliss for those people too. And we're all sort of allotted certain amounts of pain and happiness. Mm. And I think we have to trust that, that they go hand in hand. And I think this film explores thing, ugly, mean, cruel things that happen to people, but tries to remind that there's beauty that comes after that. Yeah. There is no more important right more important message right now than to remind us that we are all connected. It doesn't matter if we're from different nations. And I think that it's fantastic that we're empathizing with people of completely different cultures. I also think it's really ambitious for a filmmaker to direct a film half in another language and to let it be subtitled and not just have people speaking English with accents. Well, what's been really neat too is, is you know, taking, you know, normally these subtitled, subtitled films in another language are reserved for art houses and don't always mm -hmm. make it all over the country. And what's been really cool about this film is that it's getting a really wide release and it's going to play over the country. And I've been lucky enough to watch it yep. play in the middle of the country and in places that don't normally get subtitled movies and theaters. And it's playing for people. And it's a reminder that if you don't underestimate what people will be interested in watching, like people will respond and, and react um, as you hope they will. So, yeah. You know, um, yeah, you go with people that you've watched their work and are fans of. Um, I always thought Olivia was really funny, and, and I actually had seen her in a small movie that she did with um, Reed Moreno uh, called Meadowland. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I have to get her for this film. Now, oh. And it's, it's a, and, uh, and, uh, but with everybody, Oscar Isaac was the first guy on board. And so when you get Oscar on board, it makes other actors really want to do your movie really badly. So even if the script was terrible, like I think Olivia probably would have wanted to do it and Annette might, would have maybe done it for me. And so I think it, it was a big thing to get Oscar on board early. 